Coder is an American miniature horse who's not even 60 centimetres tall. Now he was diagnosed with dwarfism and having already overcome a lot of health problems, this little baby horse is not out of the woods yet. Coder is here along with us. Bondi vet, oh. there he is, Dr. Chrissy Brown. Yeah. Well, hello. hello. Now, what does Coda do for the for the children's hospital? So he visits the wards, yeah. and because I guess he's he's he, he's, he's just so loves to, to get around and, and meet people. He walks into the wards and obviously brightens up the days of the, of oh, the, the kids, kids that are in there. Look at his little stethoscope. I know, but he, I mean, he is to give you some perspective. That's, he is he's so beautiful. So small. Hang on, we're not, we're not oh, taking the picture. Here he is. Here he is in the Royal Children's Hospital. The kids must love that. No. So, and he, look, he's, he's actually got a bitter oh. about him and a beautiful oh. personality. And oh. He's very giving and you know, gives gives out rubs and... and um, gives out rubs. Because horses, Chris, are look so... They've got such a high level of intelligence, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Did you want to stand up now and show yeah, that? I mean, the difference in the... You can see mind the size you. difference. Look at that. He's, he's not big. <laughs> he's really... He's so cute. So he's a, even if he was born you know, without dwarfism, he's supposed to be a small horse. Yeah, he's meant to be about sort of this this tall here. And so, so when he was born, yeah. how, how long was it until people sort of thought, this is not just a runt, this this one's really little? Really straight away, based around his, his, just how small he was. Mm. And also, dwarves in, in horses do have a couple of very characteristic things, like his, his head is a little bit more domed, dome-shaped, his little nostrils turn upwards, and yeah. um, there's a few little things like that. So, But, you know, for, for him, the, the amazing thing about him, a lot of people said, hey, he should, he should be put down because it's not fair. Oh. But you get to know his little spirit mm. and he's a brave little guy. He's been through so much and he's, he's had a lot of hurdles to overcome and you'll see tonight on Bonovet just probably the most significant one he's had which is the fact that even though he's a dwarf horse he has full adult sized horse teeth. Right. And that's on tonight's head. show isn't yeah. it? Like, or you show yeah. us what and, happened. And these teeth have been pushing up through his sinuses and into, into his oh. eye. And, oh. and so he had to have proper facial surgery didn't yeah, he? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you I, look I, beautiful. I got involved in one of the operations and we were called upon one of the, the surgeons from the children's hospital wow. who wanted to help out as well because he saw the great work that the Coda's done for the kids. He wanted to give something back to Coda. Oh, That's and incredible. So you, and what person. is it, a paediatrician? Or? Yeah, yeah, as well as an equine dental specialist. What so, an amazing combination. Yeah, it's, it's an incredible room to be in when, when you're teaching ideas and performing mm. these, these surgeries. And you'll see tonight the journey that he goes on and it's... It's big for him. It's such a big challenge, and you'll see tonight how he goes with it. Can I ask you about his visiting visits to the children's wards? Do you have a feeling that he knows kind of what his job is? Yeah, I think so. As, as Georgie said before, the horse is intelligent, mm. and when they see little guys in in trouble or, or getting brightening up, he would see the the effect that he has on on other people, mm -hmm. and seeing that that they're happy, and that would make him happy. They've so, got an amazing person. Like I, when my experience with horses, I've had a lot of these. Is they've got their own personality. Like people, there's really terrible horses that mm. have a terrible spirit. But I swear to God, when I was upset, my horse would pick it up no, and yeah. change his behaviour. They're very intuitive, aren't they? Mm, they really are. And I think when they don't understand our words, they have to understand our body language, yeah. and so they look at you very closely. And and that's why they pick horsey people from non-horsey people, and and know when you're angry, when you're upset, oh. and, and as a result, and he. Um, when, have you noticed that when he walks, he it clickety clacks. So oh, there's an act there. Yes, there <laughs> is. There is. When, when, he's not, the when he's not helping the kids at the hospital or visiting us on the circle, what, where, where does he sleep? Where is he with? He lives out at Yarrambat. Okay. It's owned by a, by a vet nurse, mm -hmm. and um, and she's been the I guess look she's been his ally along the whole along the way. Mm -hmm. But she could have given up on him as well. But she spent a lot of money, and she's yeah. spent a lot of her time making it's sure that he was over ten thousand dollars so far, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. He's only two years old. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I imagine this is, we have to go, we're running out of time, Chris, but I imagine this is sort of a work, like the first time you've ever done this sort of option. So it'll be yeah. fascinating tonight to see behind the scenes yeah. of what you had to do. Absolutely. I mean, for us, I guess, you know, I'm mostly a small animal vet, but to work with horses was a, a big thrill and, and to see his challenges, it, it blew me away. Look at him sidling into you. <laughs> I'm going to try that too. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please thank Coda and Bondi vet, Dr Chris Brown. <laughs> We're doing little gentle claps so we don't scare yeah, Coda. Yeah. And of course, you can follow Coda's battle on tonight's episode of Bondi Vet. It'll be fascinating, so don't.